everybody and welcome to the Long Island Surge Volleyball Club parent meeting for the 21-22 Travel Club. My name is Rob Kiley. I'm one of the directors. I'm going to be going through some information about this year's club season and then showing you the list of questions that were asked at the parent meeting. If you have any additional questions that you don't find this meeting, please feel free to drop us an email. And at the end of the slideshow, my email will be posted. First, I'd like to go through Long Island Surge's philosophy, why we are different from most clubs. Um, we like to teach our coaches how to teach the game the right way. Um, we say uh, players that come through learn the game the right way. They're taught rotation, they're taught plays, they're taught how to play volleyball, um, and it's a sport that they'll grow and learn and love for life. Um, our, co our coaches are enthusiastic and encouraging, um, and we understand that many players who come to our program are busy and may play other sports or have other commitments. So our philosophy is to, ca is to cater to those players. We don't have any punitive penalties if you miss practices or games. Um, I know some clubs will have mandatory attendance policies and it'll affect playing time in tournaments and whatnot. We don't have any of those policies here at, at Surge. We have top instruction and we don't have um, an over-the-top cost um, that some clubs have. We, are, we consider ourselves affordable um, and it's for the everyday player who wants to grow and learn and love the game. Our staff. Uh, like I said, my name is Rob Kiley. Chris Harkins is the other director. We have 49 coaches currently who coach for us. We have 75% returning club coaches from last year, and 90% of them are former and current college players. 100% of our coaches are e were either top players or coaches at the high school, uh, JV, or varsity level on our We are running a tryout for our travel program. That means anybody who wants to play needs to try out. Our tryout information at the start of the season is, is as follows. It's this weekend, the 28th and 29th at LIU Post in Brookville. Directions are on our website. Uh, we are going to plan to run teams from anywhere from under 12 to under 18. Boys teams will be two ages, so usually it's the under 16 and an under 17 or 18. Uh, sometimes we run two or three boys teams. Uh, you need to figure out what is the age of your players as determined by USA Volleyball. So we have an age definition chart on our website. I'm coming; It's coming up in a couple of slides. Um, once you find your age, you find your tryout time this weekend. All times are p.m., 5.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. We're going to be running tryouts. And the tryout fee is $75, which includes both tryouts. It is not mandatory to come to both tryouts. If you come to one, that's good enough. Um, but your tryout fee does include both. All right. I'm about to show the age definition chart. The cutoff is July 1st, meaning every grade in school basically gets cut off in half. Half of half of one grade will be in an older age group and half will be in the younger. However, players can pick whichever one they want to try out um, as long as they're not playing down an age bracket. So players can try for any age equal to or older than the age bracket where they fit. Um, so let's say you were born in August of 2007. All right, what you do is you go to our website, you find that chart in August of 2007, it comes into the orange column there, and you can see that would make the player a 14 and under. Now, the rest of that player's friends might be older in that year. They might, let's be, say, January of 2007, which would put them as a 15 and under. So if you wanted to play up, you could. That's fine, you would just come to the 15 traps. What, what can happen is those 15 players playing down as 14s. Oh, that's the rule with the age definition. Once you find that, you get your tryout time, come down to the tryout, and we we go from there. Once the tryouts are over, we, we do something called our bidding process. Everybody gets a bid who tries out. So when you try out, we tell you, okay, you, here's the team we are offering you, and we give you 24 hours to accept or deny that bid. If you don't respond in that 24 hours, that's going to go in as a denial, and we're going to move to the next name on the list. Very important to make sure your spam filters are not filtering out LI Surge emails and that you respond as soon as you get that email. Um, not everybody gets a bid at the, the same moment. We start out with our older and highest level teams first and work our way down. So if you don't, if you find maybe you have a friend who got a bid and you didn't get one yet, please be patient. It is coming. It takes us about a week to two weeks to get out all the bids to everybody. The season schedule for all all teams goes from November to on or about April 1st. We do not practice over school holidays and breaks, so no Christmas break, no February break. Um, 
and I don't believe spring break, actually spring break may fall uh, within our season this time. Tournaments will be scheduled tentatively by December 30th. What we do is we apply for different tournaments around the, the Nassau County area. Um, every team in our program goes to four local tournaments. So it's plays in Nassau County, maybe Suffolk County, out East Long Island, Southern Connecticut, New York City, or the furthest, absolute furthest we will go is Northern New Jersey. And when we do our, our application process in December, uh, the venues will either accept or deny us based on how many applicants they have. And if, as we get accepted, we let the families know. But typically right around this Christmas time, we will say, all right, let's say the 15 ones team, we'll tell everybody from that team, listen, here are a list of 10 dates we'd like you to keep open. We're gonna be going to four of these dates as tournaments. We will let you know when we are accepted. And then as we get accepted, we'll, we'll narrow that list of 10 dates down to four. Um, but as soon as we know the dates, we do give it out to um, families have COVID regulations. So depending on the venue where we're practicing, players probably will be asked to wear masks. Every indoor venue, players need to have masks entering and exiting the building, going to the bathroom. Um, and then each venue has probably their own rules if it's not state mandated of whether or not they need to wear masks. We follow the, the CDC, the, the Department of Health guidelines to a T, and any institution we're renting the gym from, we have to follow their rules as well. When you sign up for the club season, here's what your membership includes. Two practices a week. Our practice locations are LIU, Oceanside, or Mitchell Field. LIU is Monday and Wednesday night. Oceanside practices will vary Monday through Friday. Mitchell Field is tentative. We're still working on finalizing gym time there. Times will be staggered with the younger teams beginning in the 5 or 6 o'clock hour and the older teams for the 8 o'clock hour. Practices will be about 90 minutes um, for each practice. Also included professional coaching, our former collegiate players or longtime coaches. Uh, you get a backpack, a t-shirt, and the uniform, which is there. There's a picture there of some players in our uniform. Girls get a long sleeve jersey, boys get a short sleeve, and players provide their own black shorts. We have a new program this year called the Premier Team. The top team in each age group will be called Premier. And basically, the Premier team is not only going to get the four local tournaments, we're going to do two overnight tournaments with these teams, which is a little bit more for this program. You can you can deny playing for a Premier team and choose to play for a club team. And um, overnight possible tournament locations, Winterfest, Hartford, Connecticut, which is in January. Lancaster, Pennsylvania is also January. We have Boston Volleyball Festival in March, and Philadelphia has a, has a big tournament presence day weekend. These would be overnight tournaments only for those premier teams. It only apply for the top team in each age group. Costs for the club season, premier club, the tuition for the season is $2,100. For travel club, it's $1,500. Everybody will pay $700 deposit when you register for the season. And then the remaining balance for your team will be split between two payments on December 1st and January 1st. The only additional cost besides travel expenses um, that you're going to incur is to give a membership. This is our parent organization. You have to be a member of it to play in their events. So the GIVA membership is $65. We send out an email link for you to just accept our club. You pay the $65. It's $45 if you are 13 and younger. Um, and that's the only kind of hidden cost. Um, the only thing that you'd have to pay for besides this is that if you're, if you're traveling, um, overnight. We don't pay for your hotels. We choose tournaments where you get your own hotel, make your own accommodations um, and whatnot. So there's no hidden fees that just, you know, I know some clubs suddenly will say we need $400 for this or extra money later on for this. Ours, all our fees are up front and there's nothing hidden later on in the year. Frequently asked questions. LIU Post is the location for trials and it's this weekend. Times are posted on our website. Practice times and locations will vary by team. I know a lot of people have questions of who's practicing where and when. Short answer is we don't know yet. We're still need to see what teams they're running and what we have available. Um, most teams we think are going to run out of Oceanside. However, we have LIU and Mitchell Field as backup and overflow locations. Um, you can make practice location requests as well as friend requests on the tryout registration form. Bids go out after the last tryout. The quicker you respond to the bid, the quicker we can get to the next teams, next players on each team. Jerseys we went over, and tournaments are decided by club directors and coaching staff. As soon as we know those dates, we will give them out. 
Uh, you can try out for any age group that you want that is equal to or older than the player's age bracket. And here's our email, lisurgevolleyball at gmail.com. Email us with any questions you may have. We will see you on the court. Here is a list of some of the questions that got asked at the parent meeting, so you can see what some parents were thinking. So I pull this. If you can't att cannot attend trials till Sunday, will you be waiting after both days to make the bids? The answer is yes. You practice for 90 minutes. Um, it might be the same jersey in back. Uh, sorry, we'll, might be the same jersey. Will definitely be a new backpack this year. You have only premiere for the girls program. If you made a mistake on a trial registration, please drop me an email. Oceanside is a definite place that we are going to practice. Um, if you have a practice prefer preference, please put it on the trial registration. 12s and 13s most likely. Um, we're going to do our best to get them there. I can't guarantee any place. There's definitely an advantage to being at both days of tryouts. The more coaches that get a look at a player, the better. They have it being noticed and getting placed on a higher team. Boys are going to practice at either, depending on what we're running. Um, this you're going to need to check the chart on. 18 girls is a travels team. In my opinion, you, you want to play where you're most comfortable. So if she's more comfortable with older kids, definitely play up. All right, you can definitely send us an email for that, Joanna. And besides tournaments, are there regular games? Nope, the tournaments are our games. All trial times are PM. Uh, how big are the teams? They're between uh, 10 to 11 is our ideal size for a team. We've gone as big as 12. We've gone as low as 8. It's not a guarantee. We will definitely do our best. 18s is not going to have a premier team. If COVID shuts down tournaments, we're, we offer insurance with every registration. If COVID shuts it down, we will um, put that insurance claim through. Um, if that gets denied or if, um, to, if basically if this happens, we're going to give a credit for it, if anything. It would not be a refund. If you're concerned about that and wanted the refund back, you need to get the insurance. So you have 24 hours from the bid email. We, we do not conflict with high school teams. High school program is over by the time we start our program. Uh, just put where, come to the trial you belong at and drop me an email that says which trial you should be at. If you feel like they should play up, we would let the player know at the tryouts. We are not accepting walk-ins for tryouts. Yes, everybody who tries out gets assigned a team. Right now, we don't have any makeup day schedule. What we would probably do is bring a player into a practice as their tryout. Couldn't make this week. You can't try out for both, but you should definitely pick one. Yes, play whichever group you're more comfortable with. Tryouts are at post this weekend. And that was the end of the questions. And if you have any questions, please drop me a line, lisurgevolleyball at gmail.com. Have a wonderful day.